everybody. Steve Ritter. Uh, stopped by the Alain Oasis on my trip out west uh, a few weeks ago. Finally getting this video together. This is uh, Alain Oasis. Alain's a big agricultural city in the UAE. And this is a bright spot here. Uh, lots of date palms. Um, really interesting irrigation system they have here, the Falage system. We'll talk about that a little bit here. But nice, real, real nice walk. It was hot. Uh, it was over, well over 100. But it's a drier heat in Alain than it is in Abu Dhabi. It's very nice. So Alain's about 100 miles east of Abu Dhabi. So nice little path walking along here. Go along. Got, took a couple of pictures. This is a little covered area. Uh, where they have meeting places. You see the chairs along the walls there. It's pretty interesting. Here's our date palms. Nice up close view. Those are uh, green uh, date. Well, they're not ripe. Uh, obviously, they were yellow. Uh, see the trough there? there? That's the water distribution system. And we'll talk about that more. See that, that white? Uh, it, look like, it looks like a cutting board. That's kind of what they use to divide and split up and divert water around to all the different agricultural areas of the, around the oasis. This is a palm tree. They cut and make uh, seats out of it. It's pretty cool. That's their lumber that they used uh, primarily back in the old days where, where the palm trees, they would cut them and split them, use those. Nice little walk. All the fields, the date palm areas, they're all divided by these walls. And then inside there, you can see kind of little furrows and walls and everything else. But they uh, they divert the water into these areas and actually flood the areas. Uh, certain times, every every so often, they know how long they need to be watered and everything. So a real nice walk along here. I was I was hopping from shade to shade because it was a little warm, and I I made the mistake of not bringing water with me. <laughs> so. I was walking fast, but I was kind of going, ooh, man, this is hot. But it's real nice walk. You can hear the birds. There was birds everywhere. You hear the birds there. Very nice. There's a nice picture of what I just uh, was looking at there. So makes a nice screensaver there, I think. You can see up in the trees all the dates. Ready to go. Big date harvest there in that area. This is all part of the Sharia uh, system. It's a, a the division system, which basically um, means justice or a body of rules or principles. And the Falage system is the water distribution system and, and method by way they fairly and evenly and with justice distributed water around, which obviously in that part of the world is a is an important commodity. And the fallage system uh, is is basically pulls water from wells and surface water and then distributes it around to the farmers, to the to the fields. And we'll see some of the more of those channels and furrows here in a in a bit as we walk along. But they keep the walls uh, that kind of separate the, the, the different little areas and fields. And you can see inside there, there's some channels there. So the water moves along. They put blockers to kind of keep, uh, to channel the water where they, what particular field they wanted to go to. And, you, and it comes out right there. You see that. So that water is that particular little area. And they'll kind of flood the area. And there's some particularly noisy little birds. I don't think they were too happy with me. They're kind of hollering at me there, checking me out, making sure I'm not going to mess with their... I think they probably had a nest there around there. But, but uh, 1946, uh, this is Zayed, the, the father of the country. He, he spent a lot of time in Alain, kind of grew up there. In 1946, he, he refurbished the Falash system, and it really contributed to Alain's agricultural boom. And it is a big uh, agricultural town, lots of farms around. You can see all the dates, and they hang those bags around them so it keeps the birds away for one, and then when they fall off, they catch them in those little bags. 
and some of them they just let fall to the ground. Well, I'll show you some in a little bit, but see how lush it is below. They must have just uh, flooded that area. Lush grass and, and everything else that helps the, the ground retain moisture. They encourage that. And it was a little a little more humid walking in there. I mean, all the moisture in the air from the, the trees and the plants and the watering and everything else. You see, that's pretty lush right there. All the grasses and everything else. It's really pretty. There was a nice little breeze blowing through. And again, it's not so humid there as it is in Abu Dhabi. There's some more channels coming up there with the water flowing through. Uh, we'll actually see some water a little bit later. So obviously water is an important commodity there and, and culturally and, and uh, they a lot of their festivals and gatherings and weddings and things like that centered around water and ritual water and the bathing and there's a little thing you can pause it here and read through that but that's basically talking about what I just talked about the village system distributing water fairly with justice uh, and equally amongst all the the farmers there were some uh, collection points this is a cistern that was nearby that's one of the things they pump it out of the ground into those cisterns and then distribute it through those channels there's some more pictures Coming up here, I've actually walked down to one of them. There was water flowing through it. There it is down there. So I come down and I was curious, you know, what was the was the water cool or what was it like? I go down and take a look. I'm making sure I'm not going to get in trouble here. I wanted to walk down and check it out, and that water is hot. It's uh, as you imagine it would be in Abu Dhabi in the summertime. There's a flooded area right there that's kind of water in it. They flood it. The water sinks into the ground, gets soaked up. The water doesn't soak up in the ground. Yeah, it's, the water's pretty warm. It's baking in that hot concrete as it moves along. Uh, they got to let the water sit on that ground a little bit because it takes it a while to soak in because it's so hard packed. There's some more flowing water there. They're going over to some other areas. You can see some of the dates there down low to the ground. And they channel it out. But see, I'll zoom in here in a second. You'll see some of the blocker doors, uh, some of the things they use to keep the water from flowing into that channel, running from left to right. I think, I, yeah, there's no water flowing there. You see that just through there, you can see the white thing. They block it to keep the channels going. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, some, I guess that's a bathing area. So fest, uh, festive ritual bathing uh, for weddings and all they talked about. And then, of course, the crop there is dates. Uh, that's what I got. I found these on the ground. Those are green dates. They, they're not ripe. So hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>